This week's video is sponsored by Squarespace. Hello, hello everybody. Hope you're all doing great. <coughs> oh, it was pretty uncomfortable last night. Um, I haven't finished my van yet, so I kind of had to squeeze my therm arrest in the center here because um, this isn't strong enough to hold my weight and it was a little bit uncomfortable. I'm actually waiting for the aluminium so that uh, I can start to build this thing. And the first thing I'm gonna do is uh is build the bed um as you can see i'm here with uh, his lordship mr hardcastle and we've come down to the west coast not far from port renfrew to uh try and photograph an area that we've been to uh, a few times and i'll go over that in a bit more detail a little bit later but um right now i'm gonna try and get some boiling water going so i can have a cup of tea i guess i could kind of Maybe if I'm nice, nice to Gavin, I could uh, scarf some water off him. <laughs> I'll probably have to pay for it or something. <laughs> I, um, I'm not very organized on this trip I, uh, because I've taken everything out. I don't have everything at my fingertips. And uh, it's a little awkward, but I'm really looking forward to getting this camper finished, but it's gonna take quite some time. The hardest part right now is, is just getting all the supplies. It seems that everything is out or in high demand right now, or it isn't being manufactured. So it's a little bit tricky to, to get the stuff, but uh, we'll get there eventually. Hey everybody, welcome back to uh, Paysant Creek. Some of you may recognize this area from uh, a couple of videos that I've done in the past. And actually the last video that I did here was with Gavin, I think it was in November, probably two or three years ago. I've never been here in the spring uh, because generally early summer, the water levels start to go down and, and you, the waterfalls aren't running. But uh, we decided to take a chance and it's absolutely beautiful because we have good water levels but not only that, we have all this fresh green ferns and all the leaves on the deciduous trees and shrubs are all coming out. So uh, it's really spectacular. And actually up until about five minutes ago, it was sunny. So the, the light was a little bit blotchy and patchy, but it looks like it's clouding over, which is a great thing because it'll really even out that light. Uh, I didn't do an awful lot of B-roll coming in. It was quite, quite good though we saw four bears which is uh, a lot for uh, for me I haven't seen bears for quite some time uh, we saw one bear on the main beach see the black blob yeah it could be looks like a bear doesn't it I can't see it moving no oh yeah you see it moving. is he moving yeah he's moving isn't he yeah that is a bear and then um we saw a mother and two cubs run up a, a tree and the cubs must have been at least 100 feet off the deck, just tiny little things. So we got out of there quickly because we didn't want them to uh, get in any kind of danger or anything like that. Um, the only problem with areas like this when there's more than just yourself is that there's only so many angles you can photograph. So Gavin and I kind of getting in one another's uh, way a little bit but um, it'll work out fine. We're going to be here for most of the day, so just, just beautiful. I do have an image in mind, uh, and the light would be perfect for this. I really want to take just a, a really long pano of the fallen trees over here, and the cliff and the moss, and then the waterfall, and I'd really love to get that um, 
or at least part of that log that's fallen above the waterfall as well. So I might have to back up quite a bit for that. Okay, so I'm somewhat awkwardly perched on a bit of a kind of a cliff face here. And the reason why I've, I've perched myself up here is that I really want to get a shot of the, uh, the log above the waterfall. And the problem with the log is that as soon as you get close to the waterfall, you start to look up at it and you get a lot of white sky in there, which I'm not terribly keen on. So I've tried to get as high as I can so that I'm shooting straight across the frame here. And I've never actually taken a vertical of this uh, of this waterfall. So I figured have the waterfall with the log above uh, might make a nice composition. So I'm just waiting for the light. The light's really good right now. Uh, my exposure is quite long. It's around 10 seconds. And the reason why I've prolonged it so long is that there's some beautiful uh, patterns made with the bubbles in here and, and I knew that from last time I was here get these great patterns forming with long exposures so uh, it's quite calm out today there is a little bit of movement in some of the shrubs uh, but I don't think it'll be enough to to really ruin the photograph now the waterfall will look quite uh, smooth and mushy um, so what I might do is take a few exposures with the fastest shutter speed and, and then just paint those in later if, if I, if, you know, if I want to change the, the texture of the water. But yeah, it's a really, really great scene. And of course the green vibrant uh, mosses and, and all the, the leaves on the trees is just, just absolutely stunning right now. really underestimated the uh, strength of the wind and almost screwed up this whole uh, shot. So I took a number of images at 10 seconds but I neglected to take any at a faster shutter speed and uh, when I got home I checked out the files and much of the foliage especially above the waterfall was blurry uh, significantly. Now I did happen to take a few verticals after I'd taken some horizontals, but of course they were a different composition and taken with a uh, different focal length. But rather than just give up on this image, what I ended up doing was opening up uh, the raw files of this image here and a slightly different one and aligning them. And to my surprise, the alignment feature in Photoshop worked really well and uh, I ended up being able to paint in the foliage that uh, that was blurry. So I was saved by uh, an image that was in, in a lot of respects totally different. Once again, I'd like to thank Squarespace for supporting my channel and sponsoring this week's video. One of my favorite features of a Squarespace website is the ability to quickly and efficiently update a gallery or page either from a desktop computer or while on the fly using the Squarespace app from my mobile device. Loading multiple images onto a page is quick and offers the ability to change a design or page quickly and elegantly without any coding knowledge. 
Want to sell your products? No problem. Setting up shop is also quick and intuitive. Sound interesting? Why not head over to squarespace.com and try it for free. And if you like what you find, use the code Adam Gibbs for 10% off your first purchase. Okay, this is the pano that I'm, I'm hoping to get. And I say hoping because the, the sun has come out again and I don't see any clouds um, to diffuse that light, but that may change, hopefully. Um, so I really love the, uh, the logs on the, on the right side here and also the cliff face. Now this format here, this is 65 by 24, I believe, might be a bit too narrow. Um, so I might have to widen it up a little bit. Um, so if we go into the menu here, it's uh, 65 by 24. If we go to 16 by nine. See, that works okay, but I still love the nice and long and uh, and wide so there'll probably some, be something in between 65 and 24 and the 16 by 9. I find that these rocks here I don't really need those and of course right now that the sun is hitting the trees in the background um, but I do like that log going across the, the top there so if we get the right light then I might try say something like that um, and of course, Gavin's kind of in the way right now, even though he's wearing a nice red jacket. Um, I would prefer to take a shot without a person in there. But that's what I have in mind. So uh, we'll go back to 65 by 24. That's a really, really lovely format, I think. Uh, it just really emphasizes the, the waterfall and the, the surrounding cliffs and, uh, and trees and such. Kind of puts the waterfall into context without being too distracting. bad day in the woods with Mr. Hardcastle. I think out of the three images that I've shown you today, my favorite is the very first one, the vertical. If you have a favorite, please be sure to let me know in the comments down below. And also, if you enjoyed the video, please be sure to give me a thumbs up. It is massively helpful. All right, folks, thanks ever so much. And uh, hopefully I will have another video out for you next week. All right, till then. Bye-bye.